Hi, I'm Dave Holland from Deho Search Engine Optimization. Back in 1999, Serge Brin and Larry Page created Google. In doing so, they created a bit of a monster and a billion dollar industry that didn't exist previously. Up till 1999, Yahoo and MSN had got search engines of a kind but nothing that actually delivered really fantastic results, accurate results, in the way that Google now does. Um, we take it all for granted that that we get, uh, um, you know, we pretty much find what we want when we search, but it wasn't always the case. Google have, have changed the map, um, and in doing so, created a search engine optimization industry that didn't exist, um, but now turns over billions of dollars a year. So how does Google work? Well, Google works in two parts. First of all, it looks at every website that it knows of. Um, now, in order to, to know about your site, you have to tell Google that, that your site exists. So um, you can go into Webmaster Tools, and you can tell Google all about your site, and then verify your site to, to show Google that, that you've actually got access to it. Um, that tells Google that the site actually exists if it hasn't tripped over it. Sometimes. It, Google will find your site, but rather than leave it to judgment, you can actually tell it. You can do the same thing with Yahoo and Bing as well. Bing being MSN, what was. Um, once, you, once Google knows about your site, it'll pop along and have a little look. To do this, it sends a little spider, um, in inverted commas, up your phone line, and the spider has a look around your website and has a look to see what you've called everything, what the page is all about. It can only read words. So it has a look at all the words on the page and gets a good idea as to what your site's about. It also follows all the links off your page. So if your page has got um, the only navigation you've got are, are clickable pictures, uh, Google can't follow those. So it's not going to know about any other pages in your site. So even if you could have a million pages, um, but if you haven't got a proper linking structure off those pages, then uh, Google won't know they exist. So you have to have uh, text links in simple terms um, so that Google can follow them and uh, find your pages and then index your pages. Now there are over 100 different things you can do to each page that Google will look at that are key performance indicators as far as Google's concerned. Um, in the, the title of the page, the headings on the page, what you call images, uh, the keyword density, so how often a keyword is used on a page kind of determines as, as to how um, uh, focus that page is on that particular subject. Google looks at many, many things on the page and then it decides what your page is all about. If you haven't done this part of the process properly, Google won't know what your page is about, so rather than guess, it won't bother ranking you. So you've got to go through and take all of the key indicators and make sure that Google knows your page is about blue widgets or red widgets or curtains or, or suitcases or cardboard boxes or whatever it happens to be. Now, once you've, you've decided that your page is all about blue widgets, um, and that's what you're selling, Google comes along, has a look. It knows that, that blue widgets is, is your thing, and that's what your, your business is. Unfortunately, there are several billion sites in the world all selling blue widgets. So how does it know what order to put you in? Well, to do this, Google runs what is, in essence, a huge uh, popularity contest. Um, basically, Google looks around the world and adds up all of the links that it can find that are pointing to your website. Uh, now, all these links aren't equal. Um, uh, you know, it depends on, on many things as to, to how the link is built, uh, what page of your site it points to, and more importantly, the quality of the page that the site that the link is on. Um, so, if it's on a really good, high quality, high Google PR site, uh, then it will be worth far more to you than if it's on a, um, a you know, someone's blog who blogs once a year is not really into it and it's a really low quality blog. Um, so the, uh, Google adds up the value of all of those links worldwide and in simple terms the man with the most links is the winner and goes at the top of the tree. Um, on a monthly basis Th that tree moves about. So uh, over a period of time, um, what you want to do is establish as many links as you can and then uh, maintain that so that nobody else catches up with you. Now, search engine optimization is the process of going through your website 
and making sure that all your pages are correctly configured so that Google and Yahoo and Bing and the myriad of other little minor search engines all know exactly what your site is about. And then, on a monthly basis, um, a good search engine optimization company will add links for you on your behalf. Uh, the reason it's monthly and they don't just chuck millions of links on in one go, because if you, you know, that would be the obvious thing to do. Unfortunately, Google have thought of that. And uh, they like to see natural organic growth, because in the real world, they like to think that someone would come along, trip over your website and go, oh, what a fantastic website. I'll put a link on, on there from my site um, just to, you know, just to point them in the right direction. Um, in the real world, that isn't how it really happens. In the real world, an SEO company will actually contact um, another website somewhere else and say, uh, we'd like you to put this link uh, pointing to the bluewidgetcompany.com um, in exchange for which we will give you XYZ, which invariably will be a link from somewhere else. Now, links do take many forms. Um, there are reciprocal links, which is where site A links to site B, and site B links back to site A. And then there are uh, one-way links. Now, a one-way link is far more valuable to you than a reciprocal link. The reason being, Google looks at one-way links and, um, and, so, and can't establish a relationship between you. Um, so on that basis, it decides that it's just a pure vote because the person giving the link likes your site, whereas um, uh, with a reciprocal link, it can see that you've done a deal between two people. Uh, so, in an ideal world, you want to gather one-way links. They're obviously a lot harder to get because if you write email someone and say, oh, I'd really like a link on your site, they're going to say, what's in it for me? Um, so, unless you can give them something, um, they're not going to put a link on your site. In the same way that if someone emailed you and said, please put a link on your site, you'd go, what's in it for me? What do I get out of it? Um, you, you know, your site wants to benefit from the deal as well, otherwise there's not a lot of point. Uh, so this is where a good search engine optimization company comes in. Um, what they do is they engineer the situation whereby you can achieve one-way link by linking from, say, site A in exchange for getting a link into site C from B, if that makes any sense. Um, it's far easier to do than it is to talk about. Uh, so all links are equal. It's the link building process that is important. Google has established the fact that that a natural link building process would be people tripping over your site on an ongoing basis and adding links. It wouldn't be a million people adding the link the same day and, and that propelling you up the rankings. Uh, Google looks at that and sees it as being artificial and manipulated and it doesn't like to be manipulated and so if it feels that you're cheating in any way, shape or form, it kicks you out of the rankings. Now, SEO companies need to understand uh, what the limits are. Um, they're quite closely guarded and some SEO companies have found out what they are by going too far and then taking a step back. So we know um, pretty much you know, what the limits are and what we can get away with um, without any sites being penalised. Um, uh, that's a, you know, no site should ever be penalised by uh, an SEO company carrying out work for it. So ongoing links on a regular basis um, are as important as possible. This is why SEO takes quite a long time, because you can't add, if, you, if the guy is in first, second and third place for your search term, blue widgets, if guy in first place has got 3,000 links and the guy in second place has got 2,000 links and the guy in third place has got 1,000 links and your site went live last week and you've got four links, it's gonna, you're not going to overtake uh, the guy in third place for blue widgets until you've got more than 1,000 links that are equivalent to his 1,000 links. 